Is the food ready yet? Huh? Hmm? He hasn't started? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Oh, no! Oh! Whoa! Would you... You're gonna make me cook? I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but... He won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, 
I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? <sighs> Are you okay? Lee! Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? <laughs> Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, 
and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own, hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization, the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay, but Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah. Hey, Sora, I got a tip for you. Yippee, more world. Feeling great.